Good morning guys, Madrick here. I'm uh, in the progression to uh, do some sharpening and I thought I would just quickly run through the drill stop collar configuration as well as uh, the angle cube the way I use it to set a degree which is closer to the truth please excuse my English I'm an African or in South African in deepest darkest Africa so I apologize I will try to speak slowly so it is more understandable okay what we have here is my Edge Pro Professional set up in one of the wives steel baking trays and uh, as you can see over here we have a drill stop collar which fits snugly along the degree angle shaft with a lock nut to actually tighten it so there are two ways about going this route for example, if you wish to end up with a 13 degree angle, the way I am going to do this uh, Suetian Inox today, to ensure that you end up with a 13 degree angle when you are finished on your last finishing stone, you then need to take your last finishing stone which in my case for demonstration purposes is a 30k shaftan and also for demonstration purposes i've taken the thinnest stone i have which is a 320 grit ep stone the stock stone so you can see the actual difference between the thickness of the stones Okay, having said that, obviously the thickness of the stones is a major issue in terms of hitting the bevel 100% when you adjust your angles and when you change your stones. So, let us set the EP up for a 13 degree, a 13 degree finish on the finishing stone. Okay, so what we do is but what I do is I loosen the drill collar, it's loose. Um, I then take my arm, the EP arm, I insert the stone, the finishing stone. Very important, the finishing stone, because you want to end up, when you put the knife down, with a 13 degree edge. So you take the last stone you will be finishing with. I then put the stone in and I put the stone, as you can see, in the center of the blade table, the center of the stone, right onto the edge of the blade table where my knife edge is going to be. Okay. Then what we have here is the angle cube. The digital angle cube we can switch it on okay I can then put it down on my blade table and you will see that my blade table is actually at nine degrees we then zero it it is now zero so if I lift it up and I place it on top of the stainless steel rod you'll see I have a 12.8 degree angle which is parallel to the stone the rod, stainless steel rod is parallel to the stone okay so I need to adjust this slightly slightly up, let's do that check it 12.9 slightly up that's slightly too much thirty-eight. 
13 degrees as you can see. Okay, so we're good to go. The EP has now been set to a true 13 degrees on my finishing stone. Right, so to ensure that we use the stones in progression at the correct angles without using the sharpie, what we now do is get to the drill stop collar trick. Let me just remove this. Right, so what we do now is we take the finishing stone and I insert this below the drill stop collar. Make sure the stone is nice and flat. I'm just trying to get my hands out of the way here. Like that. Okay, so you can see the collar is now resting tightly onto the actual stone. I then tighten the collar. Let's tighten the collar. Right, remove the stone. Okay, so what we have here is that thickness over there where the stone fits in okay will determine ultimately the stones so now to start sharpening i take this 30k my finishing stone and i put it to one side and let's go to the starting stone this would be the much thinner one so as you can see the thinnest stone there's a hell of a play there so we have to compensate for the play now, previously the Sharpie trick did the thing and you adjust uh, the angle arm accordingly. What we now do is simple. You place the thinner stone there, loosen the arm and let the arm press down onto that stone and tighten the arm. Okay. So that would be the starting stone, and if we insert that in there, into the stone holder, and put it back onto the table, let's check the angle again, first on the blade table, zero, then onto the actual stone and 13 degrees spot on as you can see okay so now we're ready to go and as you sharpen finish remove the stone go to the next stone all you need to do is to loosen the arm and adjust it so the drill collar is back tightly down onto the the physical stone and tighten it into the stone holder and you're good to go okay the other method of doing it is to actually set your EP with the coarser stone you're going to start with but then you got no guarantee what the actual angle is you're going to end up with when you finish on your last stone so I prefer setting up the EP and the drill stop collar with my final finishing stone. Okay guys, that's about it. Um, I'm going to love and leave you and do some sharpening. But uh, before I do that, let me just quickly see if I can get this video up for you guys to, to have a look at. Any questions, give me a shot. Cheers.